Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $2 for Savant Ascent. This game comes to us from D-Pad Studios. They are currently working on Owlboy, which was part of the PAX Prime PAX 10 of amazing indie games that are coming up in the next year or so. Really wonderful looking game. This game, though, a five-week project made in collaboration with electronical music artist Savant. And you know I'm hip because I call it electronical music. He's one of those guys that makes that sort of wah-wah-wah kind of electronic music, and uh, while it's not something I would necessarily blast out of the windows of my Dodge Caravan while going to pick up my kid from school, it certainly works in the context of this game. Savant, as an individual and persona, also really works well in the context of this game, too. The guy seems to have a, an interesting, eccentric style. He wears Guy Fawkes masks on stage, he wears interesting costumes, and uh, that all translates really well into this game itself. So what is the game? Uh, well, it is an arcadey shooter type game. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot of uh, uh, ways to explain it other than that. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, so we're really going to get right into it so you can actually see the game in progress. Options-wise, not a whole lot here. doesn't matter. Uh, the game is available currently on PC and Android for one price, $2. That's right, that $2 price, not a sale price. Two bucks for this game. Buy it on the Humble Store, and you will get the Android version as well. Download it through your Humble app. Really, just an amazing deal here. Before you even see this game coming out of the gate, just with this title screen, this title screen alone is worth $2. Come on, seriously. So let's go ahead and take a uh, dip into the game. Not going to do a whole lot of this game because uh, really a little bit is enough to do you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the intro cinematic. I'm going to shut up so you can enjoy it, and then we will get into a little bit of gameplay. So yeah, there you have it. There's your exposition. A uh, bitch-ass crystal ball kicked us out of our tower and uh, then brought all our pots and pans and uh, irons and toasters to life, and we've got to fight our way back to the top of our tower. Uh, it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, so here we go. You will occasionally see me pick up those CD pieces. Those CD pieces are uh, actually... Whoa! Those CD pieces are uh, actually part of the power-up system of the game. We'll kind of go into that a little bit later on. Uh, let me actually concentrate just for a moment on the gameplay. I did reset my save here, so I don't have a lot of the stuff that I'm used to having uh, that actually makes the game a lot easier to play. You do slowly sort of power yourself up as you go, and that's a really unique thing about the game. Uh, you're going to notice all these little flashes of red that are happening around the corners of the screen. Those are supposed to warn me of impending danger, but uh, indeed they are not. So I did wipe my save, so regardless of what score we get here, it's going to be the highest score. So now let's regroup and try to move on. Did we get enough CDs to get a power-up? Yes, we did. So we completed a CD with uh, four of the, of the pieces, and we're going to get Power Trip. Power Trip adds a charge meter. Really nice. Helps to clear out a lot of enemies. And this is kind of how this game goes. You're going to continue to progress. You're going to get new tracks. The CDs actually unlock new tracks in the game, new musical tracks, as well as new powers. Really, really interesting mechanic there. So uh, let's just jump right back into the game. That's the fun of this game. Getting through, dying, and jumping right back in, trying to beat your previous score. So here we go. Let's try to at least get past this initial section of the game, because otherwise I'm going to be quite embarrassed. I've actually made it a decent distance into the game. I have filled up all four CDs, uh, so that feels at least a little bit of an accomplishment there. You can see my charge meter down here at the bottom of the screen now, and uh, as I kill enemies, that will charge up. 
There we go. Now you can dodge left and right, and uh, you can also jump to avoid enemies. The easiest way, though, to avoid enemies is just kill them before they actually charge at you. So these CDs I'm collecting right now are these CD sections that I'm collecting, actually not doing anything for me because I've previously collected them. Uh, you see how it's blue instead of being uh, re uh, yellow, excuse me. Uh, that is because, again, I already collected that piece of the CD. Uh, so we've got our charge power up here. God, this game is difficult to play while talking. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that right up front. Uh, it does require quite a bit of concentration. Um, in my opinion, the game gets easier as you go because of the power-ups you unlock, and I think that that's by design, uh, because I couldn't see myself playing all the way through this game without those power-ups. There's a new CD piece. We're going to grab that real quick. There is our charge maneuver there. We'll clear out with that. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going, and we're going to go as long as we can without dying. A little bit of slightly more effective dodging now this time around. Uh, feeling it a little bit more now. The uh, round spherical enemies uh, are the main ones that are going to come at you. So you really got to uh, watch out for them in particular. Some of these other enemies you can kind of just let hang out and kill them at your leisure. Ah. But the spheres are the ones that you really have to watch out for. So let's go ahead and kill these yellow shielded enemies and grab the new pieces of CD here. There's our last enemy for this particular zone. Grab that CD, and we are done. Let's get that elevator started so we can start to ascend our tower here. There we go. Up, up, and away. So we will need to die in order to uh, unlock our powers. So there is a bit of that roguelike incentivizing death uh, in the game here. Uh, but I'm not going to die right now unless I kind of have to. So let's just ride it out and see what we can get see how far we can get uh, before we do die. Again, these shielded enemies are going to be the ones that yield CD pieces. So it is worth uh, investing a little bit of time into uh, actually killing them when they appear, but you don't want to get distracted uh, and uh, focus too much on killing them. The other enemies, uh, as you see, the longer they stay on the screen, uh, the more likely they are to actually attack you. So these guys are going to kind of chill out down here, but at a certain point, they are going to actually attack me. So it's in my best interest. Oh, whoa! Obviously, to uh, obviously in my best interest to take out enemies before they charge, uh, because you know, who wants to be charged? Uh, I, I don't. Whether it's in life or in a video game, uh, I, I don't want to be charged. Monetarily, physically, any of those things. All right, here we go. So let's try to clear out here. Less uh, less uh, talking, more shooting. And if we don't die momentarily, we'll kind of go ahead and throw it uh, and uh, get our new power so I can show those to you before kind of finishing things up because there's not, again, a whole lot to show here. Here comes that mini boss. Okay. I don't do real well with this guy because he's smart and I'm not. He'll actually kind of course correct. And there we go. We have died. I love that death animation. Just amazing. The way he sort of evaporates into the whiteness. Uh, so we're going to set an obvious uh, high score here, a really good high score. In fact, that's, I think, my best all-time high score. And we're going to unlock at least two more CDs here. This should be the CD with the uh, five-missile split. Yes, Savantism. So the first time we attack, we're actually going to get five missiles that are going to shoot out. Uh, that's sort of an incentive to stop constantly spamming the attack and reset. And for this one... Oh, we only got one other piece? Okay, well... Back into the fray. Here we go. So again, we're going to encounter those grayed out CD pieces as we go forward until we get further in the level than we did on our previous run. The next power is, I think, one of the most useful powers. It gives a flash to the screen in the direction where enemies spawn. So instead of these little red cones that just denote an enemy that's about to attack you, you actually get a flash anytime enemies spawn in. And here you can see my five shot in action. So it kind of does incentivize you to stop shooting for a moment so you can get that great spread shot. 
the music in this game, just an integral part of this game, as you would expect when making a game where you're teaming with a uh, with a musical artist. Uh, just a paramount uh, section of the game here, a uh, part of the game, excuse me, uh, that, that really just drives everything forward, and uh, the whole entire game is what it is because of the music. Uh, not to discount, obviously, the amazing graphics and the uh, really, really good controls. Controls with the mouse uh, really well. I would not want to play this game on a dual stick uh, setup just because I feel the precision of the mouse is really, really uh, what I'm looking for in a game like this. Oh, that's not going to be good and I'm going to die. Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I need to show you of a, a Savant Ascent. Uh, it's two bucks, guys. Come on. I'm going to strongly urge you to go and support D-Pad Studio because this is really uh, just a, a, a one-off little throwaway project that they did, but the quality that they put into this is so far beyond a lot of what you're seeing out there uh, in even the indie game scene. And I'm, that's not to discount any indie games. You know, I love them and I play them. Um, and obviously this is an indie game as well. Uh, but this game, for the $2 you're putting into it, what you're getting out is just so amazing. I highly recommend this game, and I recommend that you keep an eye on Owlboy as well. This game is available on uh, to vote up on Greenlight. I have done so. Perhaps you would like to do so as well. I'll add that link to the description below. Let's see. That's a CD piece we've already got. And here I'm talking. I'm talking about the game as I'm trying to close out the video. So uh, yeah, this is Savant Ascent d -Pad Studios. Uh, go ahead and check this out over on SavantGame.com. Links are all in the description below. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.